Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is super exciting because it is a cleaning marathon. It's the very first cleaning marathon I've ever done, so I'm curious to see how this does and how you guys like it. Basically, it is some of the cleaning videos from July and August, and I'm just putting it all into one video for you guys. A lot of you guys comment that you guys like to put my videos on while you're cleaning, and so to have a longer video like this one is really good so that you can just turn it on, you don't have to worry about anything else, and all my videos will play through and we can clean together so that's basically what this is today I hope that you guys enjoy it please let me know down in the comments if you do so that I can know should I do this once a month with all the videos from that particular month or even every other month or if you guys don't like this at all because you've already seen some of this content I'd really like to know your opinions so that is it I hope that you guys enjoy this and let's get to it before I start talking about what I did or what I'm doing in this video, I wanted to let you guys know that I thought this was kind of funny because I think I changed my clothes at least three times in this video, but I wanted to share with you guys the messy house, the messy rooms, and I wasn't going to get ready for this video. I wasn't going to put makeup on and get all nice and dressed up for the video. I was just going to take you guys along on a normal day for me cleaning up the mess. So here I am still in my pajamas. I had just gotten out of bed and I wanted to get all of the sheets cleaned in the house. So that is uh, one, two, three, four beds. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Four beds worth of sheets. Um, to wash so that's gonna take all day so I definitely wanted to make sure I stripped all the sheets and everything as soon as I got up so that we could get that going So as you can see, we were getting ready to go to the pool. Piper has her bathing suit on. And I thought this clip was super funny because her passy, I think two had fallen towards the back of the bed and she really thought that she could reach them from where she was laying. She found one and then you can see her try to reach for more. So she's super duper cute. The other reason I really enjoy um, stripping the sheets as soon as we wake up um, and we do clean sheet Thursdays so this is pretty much every Thursday some Thursdays I skip or some Thursdays I only do like the top sheet and the blanket um, but this day we did every single sheet we did all the pillowcases all the blankets all the sheets but the reason I like doing it in the morning is because I can also get the room ready is what I call it so normally on a normal day I'd make the bed open up the blinds, pick up the room, get the kids dressed. Um, Cause the kids come out in the morning, obviously in their pajamas. This is still actually summertime. Jane's back to school now. But this just really allows me to strip the sheets. I get the kids dressed. I open up the blinds, get the room ready for the day. And we just get the day started on a good note. Okay, here I am in outfit number two. So I have a bathing suit on and this is just my bathing suit cover up. We were getting ready to go to the pool for one of the last times of the summertime and I wanted to strip Jackson's sheets before we left. His room is the only room that is upstairs. So his room is usually the last one I, that I get to. I am so lazy sometimes, I just don't even wanna go up the stairs. But once I am upstairs, I try to do as much as I can while I'm up there. So here is our pile of sheets and blankets that I have to do. And now you can see our mess from after lunch. This is just an overview of what the kitchen looks like. Like I said at the beginning of this video, um, this is just cleaning up from lunch a little bit. Obviously this isn't really like messy house, but it definitely is a messy kitchen. So I wanted to share this with you. Also, you can see that we had gone to the pool and come back because my hair is soaking wet. So I'm just gonna count this as outfit number three.
Piper's room was the first one that I wanted to get her sheets on the bed because I wanted her to take a nap. So you can still see that I'm in my bathing suit, but I wanted to quickly put her room together so she can take a nap, like I just said. But um, also her room was kind of a mess from playing earlier in the day, but I feel like the days that I do sheets, their rooms get into a bigger mess because their blankets and um, pillows are on the floor and then the mess kind of just goes along with it. So um, this is one of the things I was talking about. You can see the transformation from being really messy and stuff all over the floor to a clean, nice floor ready for her to take a nice nap. Normally when I clean the kitchen from after lunch, I vacuum right away, but like I said before, I really was trying to get Piper's bed made and her ready for a nap. She was definitely ready for a nap after being at the pool all morning, and so here I am going back to clean up all of those crumbs on the floor. So here is my fourth and last outfit of this video. You can tell that I took a shower, actually did my hair and got dressed for the day. I can't remember where we were going. Um, maybe for Jane's outfit, it looks like we were going to dance. And I am just picking up the living room a little bit. And um, mainly in the living room, the kids bring a lot of toys down and we have toys in the ottoman. But we also, um, usually just have blankets out here that kind of makes a mess. So that's what I'm doing is folding up blankets and getting that all situated. Now it is time to make Jane's bed and pick up Jane's room. Before we go to dance, that way when we get home and it's dinner time and everything, all of the beds are nicely made. Please tell me I'm not the only one that hates making a bunk bed bed. The bottom is really hard, the top is even harder to make, and Jane usually doesn't make her bed too much because it is hard to make. I've also shared with you guys that she doesn't really even sleep under the, that big blanket. She sleeps under the two other blankets that you can see me fold here in a second. So usually when she makes her bed in the mornings, especially on school mornings, she just folds the two blankets and then her bed is made. But we are thinking about getting Bettys. Piper has a Bettys on her bed. A lot of you guys have asked us about that before. It's the bed that zips up, the sheets that zip up, um, the blanket that zips up. And we are thinking about getting that, especially for Jane's room because it is, makes it a lot easier to make the bed when it's a bunk bed. And then we'll probably get one for Jackson too. We just love Bettys and it's super comfortable and super easy. This is not sponsored by the way. 
Um, so here is the messiest room, the playroom. The playroom ends up looking just like this about twice a day, but this day it only happened once because we did go to the pool earlier in the morning so the kids didn't really play in the playroom until we came back from the pool. But you can see they are not helping me clean today, mainly because I wanted to secretly get rid of some toys. So they were downstairs watching a movie and I am just cleaning up their stuff and putting things away. Okay, so those two bins that are in the middle of the floor, one is just a bunch of, I don't even know, figurines, little small figurines, and the other one is a bunch of little dinosaurs. The kids, I feel like, don't even play with these, but they end up just throwing them all over the playroom every single day. And I've never seen them actually play with them. They just pour them on the floor. So I decided to, you can see them on Jackson's bed right there. I decided to put them on the top of Jackson's closet to see if the kids asked about them at all. I didn't want to throw them away quite yet just because I was afraid they would ask me where they were and then get super upset. But it has been about a week since I've filmed this video and they have not asked once where those two bins are. So we will see what happens in the next few weeks if they ask about them. And if they don't, I might bring them down and explain that we're going to have to get rid of some of it because it is so much easier for me to clean the playroom or for them to clean the playroom if those little figurines aren't all over the place. So that's just a little tip for you guys. I have done that with a few other toys that are up in Piper's closet as well. Things that I didn't want to quite get rid of yet for my sake as well, like magnetiles, my kids. Do not play with them ever but I just have a funny feeling maybe when Piper gets a little older they might still want those magnetiles so I just put them away up in Piper's closet for now and we will see what happens So on Clean Cheat Thursday, Chris and I's bedroom is usually the last to be done just because I want to double check and make sure that all of the kids' bedrooms and beds can be made before they have to go to bed. So you can see it's dark outside, the kids were already in bed, and I'm just making Chris and I's bed super fast. You can also see that I don't make it to perfection because we were about to get in the bed. Um, and also I did not film me putting our actual quilt on the bed because it was still in the dryer as well. So that is it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd love to do some more messy house transformation videos if you guys like it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.
Hey guys, good morning. Today we have a busy day. Um, I have five kids with me. I have my kids and then my niece and my nephew. Soon when Jane goes to school, I only have four kids when I watch my niece and nephew, but for now I have five. And my nephew is taking a nap and the kids just got done eating breakfast. And I thought today I could film an ultimate clean with me video. I'm gonna be filming today with no makeup because I don't feel like putting makeup on, but I do have a ton to clean. Chris is also about to show up any minute. He's been out of town. He was supposed to come home last night, but his flight got canceled. So he had to wake up at three o'clock in the morning to get home and he has a full day of work. So there's a lot going on today. I think we're gonna try to make some bath bombs with the kids. So that's gonna make a huge mess. Say hi. Hi. So anyways, I'm just gonna take you guys along with all the things that we need to clean. There's already messes in the kids' rooms. I'm gonna clean up breakfast. All of that, I gotta clean out the garage today, the back porch, so I'm just gonna take you guys with me. This is gonna be an ultimate all day clean with me. So, are you ready? Cause I am. So, like I've mentioned many times before in these cleaning videos, I always feel like I have to start in the kitchen. We had just finished breakfast. Like I said, my niece and my nephew were here and the kitchen was a disaster. So I like to have the kitchen cleaned and once the kitchen is cleaned, I feel like I can move on to the other parts of the house, especially because if I'm gonna be cleaning all day and then it's all of a sudden time for me to make lunch or make dinner, it's nice to have a clean and organized kitchen for that. I did have a lot of stuff on the counter to remind me to do things or things that we needed to do. You can see the baseballs in Jackson's glove. We had just gotten him his stuff for baseball. There was a towel there that my brother had given back to us and things that just needed to be put away or a spot for it. So not only was the kitchen messy from breakfast, it's just messy in general from just kind of being like our main hub of the house and where we just keep everything usually. Now we are in Jane's room and we didn't really have much to clean. We were kind of just getting ready for the day. She needed to get dressed. Um, you can see that she made a tent. This tent is still up and it kind of makes the room look really cluttered and messy, but she likes it. So I just moved that one blanket up. We make her bed, which is really easy because she only really sleeps with two small blankets and she is learning to make her bed herself. So you can see here, she's folding her blankets all by herself. It does take her a very long time, but in order for her to learn, she has to keep doing it. So eventually she'll be able to do it a lot quicker than this, but um, we're just in her room getting her room ready for the day. chores I needed to get done was to vacuum the stairs so I just take my handheld Dyson and I go up the stairs with the big unit I don't know what to call it the attachment and then I go down the stairs with the smaller attachment and get like the corners of the stairs So you can see here that we made the bath bombs and it was a disaster but the bath bombs were really fun to make. The kids had a really good time but there was stuff all over. So the best way I could clean was to just get everything off the table and wipe the table down first and then um, clean the dishes part of it and also vacuum because basically I just put everything on the floor. There was already stuff on the floor, but to wipe the table and the chairs off, I just wiped it onto the floor. So then I definitely needed to vacuum.
so this is what the kitchen looked like after we ate lunch. A disaster. Oh, and I also actually pre-made dinner, so that's why it looks even more messy. We made um, stuffed peppers, and so I made those ahead of time. That way we just had to stick them in the oven whenever we were ready. So that really helped out um, for the dinner time portion, but it made kind of a bigger mess during the lunch time, which is fine. And you can see our bath bombs sitting there too. They had to dry out. So I'm just doing the dishes and just cleaning off the counter again, getting the house and the kitchen ready for quiet time and um, the rest of the day. place to clean was the playroom if you guys have been following me for a while we try to do like a reset right at quiet time only Piper ever takes a nap anymore and she rarely takes a nap but we still do have quiet time during the day especially now that Jane is back in school and so we like to have the playroom cleaned and the kids rooms cleaned as much as possible in our living room at quiet time and then we do another good clean at the end of the day um, you can see the kids come join me here in a second. They do try to help me clean, um, but sometimes it's just a lot faster if I do it myself. But I do have them in the room with me and they watch me or they help me as much as they can. Um, so that's that. I know if you guys have kids, you understand too. A lot of times it just is a lot faster to do it yourself.
This is the worst spot in the playroom to clean because the kids love having the kitchen facing the wall because they like to pretend like they're serving out from that little hole in the kitchen. And so I can never get my body back there. So I have to actually move the kitchen, then clean back there and then move it back. And as you can see, the kids were kind of just standing there in the way of the camera, that's okay. And um, Jane and I were having a conversation whether we wanted to put all of the plates and bowls into that bin that you see because that bin is actually a tea set, but I was thinking it would be a lot easier if we can just put all of the cups and plates, but she did not want that, so um, that's what we were talking about. But now the kitchen is back in place and all cleaned up. This spot next to the stairs always has stuff next to it because we put things here that need to go upstairs or to the girls' rooms or the kids drop their stuff there, so I cleaned that up real fast, and then it was time to finally vacuum up from lunch. I usually do this as I'm cleaning the kitchen, but somehow we made it upstairs before that, so I'm finally cleaning up the crumbs. The, cr the kids make so many crumbs during lunch, probably because we have crackers most times for lunch, and that's okay because I like to, again, have like a restart, so vacuuming a little bit or even having the robot vacuum go during quiet time is what I usually do. So once it was safe to go back outside, even though it was super humid and you can't see anything that I'm doing, um, I went back in obviously after that lightning and thunder for about 30 minutes, but here in the south the rain just goes away real fast, so I was able to come back out and clean this porch. Usually what I do is just clean off the couch a little bit and that table that you saw me doing or could kind of see me do. I clean off those black rails, I do a vacuum and a mop out here. Um, and I do that about once a month and um, I just like it because I don't like when we walk out here in bare feet and the floor feels really nasty. I know that it's a porch and it's technically outside, but I like to have it clean and take care of the tile on the ground. So that's what I'm doing. And it does take a while because it's a big space, but it's totally worth it to have a clean porch. after dinner and we didn't really do anything else cleaning wise for the rest of the day after you saw me clean the porch. I really wanted to clean the garage but I did not have time especially with that rainstorm. Um, I was I had to take like a break. I couldn't do anything outside obviously so um, I didn't get to clean the garage but I am cleaning up from dinner and I say this all the time this is usually when Chris kind of hangs out with the kids and I like to get the kitchen cleaned and done before the kids are in bed. That way, once they're in bed, I can get other things done or spend time with Chris and just be done for the day. So he kind of takes them and does their own thing or puts them in the bath. It just depends on what day it is and what how long it took us to eat. But we didn't have that many dishes because um, I cooked ahead those bell pepper, stuffed bell peppers. And so um, it was a quick clean up for dinner and I just clean up the dishes and wipe the counter down and get the kitchen ready for the next day.
that's pretty much it for our ultimate clean video today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And So the main things I needed to do was to put the clothes away in all of the kids' rooms and Chris and I's room. I need to dust and wipe off all the surfaces. I also wanted to wipe off and clean off all of the window sills and also vacuum all of the rooms. And so I kind of just did this room by room, which is a lot different than what I normally do. So when I normally clean, I do one thing at a time. So let's say I have to dust and wipe all the surfaces. I will do that in every single room and then I'll move on to the next thing, which would be vacuuming all the floors. So then I'd take the vacuum and I'd go around and vacuum all the floors. But in this video, you can see that I work room by room. And the reason I did that is because I did have a lot to do and it was just easier to bring all the things to each room. And also because Piper needed to take a nap, so I wanted to get her room done and so she could take a nap. And so I just did everything in her room first. If you have kids that are a little older, at what age did they start putting their own clothes away? Jane knows how to hang up her own clothes, but she doesn't really know how to fold. I'm sure that'd be something easy to teach her. And then Jackson and Piper have no idea how to put anything on a hanger. So I'm just wondering at what age do you have your kids put away their clothes? Because I cannot wait for the day where I can just do the laundry and then hand them their laundry baskets and they put their stuff away on their own. a break from those chores and cleaning the kitchen from lunchtime this includes doing a few dishes and wiping down the counters just a little bit where there were crumbs
I've said this in previous cleaning videos, but we really try to do one little reset right after we eat lunch. It is Piper's nap time and quiet time for the two older kids. And so I like to make sure all of their toys are cleaned up. And if there's a huge mess up in the playroom, usually leave it there. But if this living room area is picked up and their rooms are picked up, then they can have some tablet time or watch a movie or something like that for quiet time. And it kind of just resets our day and we're able to relax during quiet time. And then we do that again at nighttime. We clean up right before we go to bed. So this is Jane and I, we're cleaning up the Jenga set and just picking up the living room a little bit. So this is a site that is rarely seen. One, because I usually make my bed as soon as I wake up in the morning, and this was probably about one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not sure why this got put on the back burner, but it did because I was cleaning all the other rooms. And also, all of that laundry on the floor it is folded and other things are ready to be hung up. But like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I do all of my laundry on Sundays. And unless I'm doing like a laundry routine video or something like that, I usually do not film on Sundays. So you guys rarely get to see me do any laundry um, unless it's like clean sheet Thursday where we do all of the um, bed sheets. But like I said, we were behind since we had been on vacation. So here we are with a huge pile of laundry that I need to put away and hang up. So since I need to vacuum up in the playroom, we obviously needed to pick up the playroom and get everything off of the floor. So I had the kids help me do that while Piper was napping.
finally got all of the things done that I had to get done. Now it is just cleaning up messes from the kids and cleaning up after dinner and just getting the regular stuff done. Guys, this is all my baby in this little box and I only had two left. On most days, we clean up in the living room, in the kids' rooms after we eat dinner, but the kids really wanted to go out for ice cream, so I told them that we needed to clean up all of their rooms in the living room before dinner. That way, um, we could go right after dinner to eat ice cream and we wouldn't have to worry about the mess when we got home. So that's what we're doing here. ate a quick dinner and here I am cleaning up. This was actually a one pan dinner. It was chicken thighs, potatoes, and green beans all in a cast iron skillet. So I had already cleaned up most of the mess before we ate dinner. So this is just the dishes from us actually eating. And I did the dishes real quick. One last room to clean was Jane's. We did not get to her room before we ate dinner, so we are cleaning up her room really quick before ice cream. It looks like she's not helping me, but she is actually just not in the frame of the camera. So here I am picking up all of the doll things, and then she was picking up all of the books and putting them on the bookshelf. And we were doing that again before we went out to eat ice cream. was getting the kids in the car you can see in the background the garage door is open and I am quickly just cleaning off of the kitchen table and wiping the kitchen table down before we left got home from ice cream, Chris put the kids in a bath while I folded these towels real quick and then I also still had to wipe down the countertops in the kitchen as well. guys that is pretty much it for my all day clean with me I just took you guys around to everything that I did and surprisingly I got everything done that was on my list so I feel really good about that and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in our next video bye 
Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be doing a power hour, which we have not done in a really long time. We've actually never done a power hour here on this channel. Um, if you guys are new here or you have no idea what is going on, I have a whole other channel called House of Hunts. It's my baby channel, it's my well, I call it my baby channel. It's my very first channel that I ever created, so it's my baby. Um, and we basically just share how we are a family of five here. I feel there's a little bit of a disconnect between you guys watching me clean here and then all the other things that are going on with my family. So if you're interested in any of that, like for instance right now, I'm having to do this intro out here on my screen porch because my kids are having quiet time kind of loud in there they're watching Star Wars and so yeah and I know that you guys see the kids a few times here and there on the cleaning videos but not like anything about their personalities or anything like that so if you are interested in seeing what our family is up to I share a lot of recipe videos I share um, home tours we're doing a lot of home um, renovations and stuff like that so I share that over there as well definitely check out that channel and we have some old cleaning videos. So I started this channel in April of this year, and so all of my older cleaning videos are over there, including a lot of my power hours that I used to do. So today I have a ton to do, and I really only have an hour of time where I can clean, and I'm not even sure I'm gonna get all of it done in that one hour, but I'm only gonna clean for an hour, and then whatever I don't get done, just gonna have to get done tomorrow so that's the plan that's why I want to do a power hour if you guys don't know what power hour is um, my friend Kimberly from style mom XO created this I think a few years it's been two or three years that she created this it's such a smart idea but you just look at the clock you start your timer and you clean whatever you can for one whole hour and then you're done. So I know that cleaning can be very daunting. It can seem like you're gonna be cleaning for hours. If I cleaned all the things that needed to be cleaned today, I'd probably be cleaning all day long, but I just don't have time for that. So I'm gonna be satisfied with whatever I get done in the hour, and I'm bringing you guys along with me. So let's get into the cleaning. So the first thing I'm doing is cleaning up from lunch. I started this power hour at 2.30, which is kind of late for me to be cleaning up from lunch, but the big kids have been going to VBS this week and we haven't been getting home until around 12.30. So by the time I get everyone down and settled from for quiet time, it was a little bit later and then starting this video and everything. So here I am at 2.30 cleaning up from lunch. I'm just doing the dishes. There were also dishes from breakfast that I didn't do either. Putting them in the dishwasher and just wiping down the counters and just cleaning up a little bit so that I feel like the kitchen is clean and ready to go for when it's dinner time. The next thing I did was help Jane clean up her scrapbooking things. She was scrapbooking a little bit during quiet time and she needed help getting these papers situated and cleaning up. And she had made a huge mess with like glitter and sharpening pencil shavings and pieces of paper. They also had played with Play-Doh so there was like dried Play-Doh everywhere. So we're cleaning the table up some so that we can have dinner later. And you guys can see our new lights here. And if you guys want to see our new house transformation, I don't know how long you guys have been watching me, but our walls used to be tan and now they're this pretty gray color. But I did a whole entire new house tour for you guys. We have those new lights that are now actually hanging and not on our table. 
and then the new color and some new decor. So definitely check out the House of Hunts channel for that video that I just posted because it is super exciting. It's a huge transformation. So um, here I am now vacuuming. Like I said, there's glitter and pencil shavings and Play-Doh and all sorts of stuff over there. And then I go around the house and just kind of vacuum where I see dog hair or crumbs from lunch. I'm not doing like a huge vacuum or anything. I'm just kind of vacuuming, spot vacuuming is what I call it, seeing things on the floor and just vacuuming that up. So it was also clean sheet Thursday this day. So here I am, the sheets were clean and I am just gonna put them on the bed now. And I'm cleaning everybody's sheets today because we were out of town all last week. So the sheets hadn't been cleaned in two days. You guys can see me laughing here. I li love to listen to podcasts while I am cleaning. And I was listening to your favorite things podcast. It's Brandy Cyrus and Wells Adams and Wells is from The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. And I think they are hilarious. Uh, Wells really reminds me of Chris with their like humor and stuff. And I can't remember what exactly I was laughing at, but they are always making me laugh. And normally I'm not one to like laugh out loud like at the radio or a podcast but they were making me laugh like out loud by myself I was feeling kind of funny but it was just so funny you can see me laughing here too so definitely check out their podcast if you want something like lighthearted. they just talk about stuff that's going on and their favorite things so anyways let me know some of the the podcasts that you guys listen to if you do while you clean it just kind of passes the time for me and it's like I'm not even cleaning because I'm just listening to what feels like a friend um, or sometimes I listen to other youtubers cleaning but most of the time I just listen to podcasts It is now time for me to clean my bathroom. I had already cleaned all the other bathrooms in the house on Monday, which is rare because normally I do all of the cleaning of the bathrooms on Thursdays, but we were supposed to have friends come over on Monday that ended up not coming over, but I wanted to make sure those bathrooms were clean because again, we were gone all last week and so nothing had really been cleaned in about two weeks. So those were already clean, so that made it really easy for me to just have to clean the bathroom and I kind of did like a deep clean since it hadn't been cleaned in about two weeks but I took everything off the counters scrubbed down the counters wiped everything before I put it back on the counters clean the tub real good clean the toilet real good and I didn't have time to get to the shower but you guys can see me do all that here
So I only had five more minutes left in this power hour and I still needed to clean all of the windows and the mirrors in the house. So I decided to get as many done as I could. This mirror in our bedroom and there's another mirror in our office and a mirror in Jane's room get the most hand prints on them because they're like the full length mirrors. And then pretty much all of our windows that are down low like this have fingerprints all over them because we don't really ever have blinds up or anything or down, I guess you should say. So the kids are always looking outside, putting their fingers on things, which is fine. So I have to do this a lot. And we also have a few glass doors you can see in the next clip. And also our office door is glass door as well. So there's a lot of glass that needs to be cleaned. And I just take a microfiber cloth and some method cleaner and go to town. Okay guys, so, so that was an hour. That hour went by so, so fast. Are you coming out here, River? I forgot, it's been a while since I've done a power hour. I forgot how fast the hour goes. So I definitely did not get everything done. I knew that I wouldn't, but I feel satisfied that I at least got a lot of it done and now I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm just gonna call it quits finish it all later. Um, I do have to finish the kids' sh uh, bed sheets though because they need to have something to sleep on tonight. Um, but I knew I wasn't gonna get that done in an hour because each load takes like 45 minutes to wash and then 45 minutes to dry. So I have like three or four more loads to do. So that's gonna be like an all afternoon slash evening thing. I did not clean my shower yet. And what else did I not get done? Oh, I need to finish um, like wiping and cleaning all of the rest of the windows in the house. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. The shower and the windows and everything can be done tomorrow. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little power hour video. Um, if you did, make sure to let me know. Also, let me know what kind of cleaning videos you guys like to watch. Just keep giving me ideas in the comments of what you guys like to watch and watch me do as far as cleaning and organizing so that I can share those things with you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.